the Chris is coming through the movie. His dad obviously has got the, the uh, pedigree there. What have you seen from him? What do you know about him? He's an undrafted kid that's been around for a little while now. What do you, what do you see? I've seen a little more of Andy in the you know, you know, instructional leagues and things. He's got a fine arm and uh, he's got a great pitcher's body and the ball is very lively out of his hand. But, you know, the biggest thing for both of those guys is their first full season. So we're, you know, we want them to look at their individual goals and not be so focused on results. Um, and if that's the case, then they're, they're taking the proper steps in their career. Chris was saying he was a lot like his dad mechanically, but uh, personality-wise, he was nowhere near that. And he said his dad told him not to be that way, not to be that emotional, yeah. fiery guy. Yeah. Do you like that from a guy like that who's kind of he, he's trying to be level-headed? He's not trying to be that that type of. Uh, I mean, he's going to come out of the bullpen for you, but you like him to be more of a even-keeled. Yeah, of I do. Yeah. I do. You know, I mean, it's, you know, that was also a different era when his dad mm -hmm. pitched, where that was a lot more prevalent. A lot more guys are level-headed now sure. than, you know, those guys were very excitable and, you know, <laughs> but, you know, Andy, you know, he's, he probably has a little bit of a nice blend of both. Yeah. I mean, you, you, anytime you step out there, especially as a pitcher, you got to have some competitiveness to you and some fire, and I've seen some of it out of him, so, yeah, <laughs> good. it's probably easier for me to not have right. to deal with yeah. somebody like right. his dad at this level. <laughs> very good, appreciate it. Okay. We'll see you, all right? Okay, take care. We're the CBS, man. We see you